Uh, Royal Palm Beach Strikers monthly board meeting, March 21st, 2023. All rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we've been away for a little bit. Um, called to order uh, 7.30 p.m. Um, roll call, Dave Court. Or 6.30 p.m., I'm sorry. 6.30 p.m., uh, again, March 21st, 2023. Called, um, roll call, Dave Corson. Uh, Corinne Corbisero. Here. Vanessa Donadio. Here. Amy Santiago. Here. Amanda Lamb. Uh, Fernando Casale is uh, going to be unable to attend, uh, as will be our referee assigner and registrar, Shinoi Ragaraj. Uh, Brendan Pendergrass, Village Liaison. Is here. He is also here. So with that being said, the reading and approval of previous month's minutes, and I know that, um, were they sent out? Yeah. And did everybody have an opportunity to go over them? And are there any modifications that need to be made in any of the months? We probably, what, what month was that? October. October. Okay, uh, we need a modification, a motion that had been previously uh, made uh, regarding the increase of uh, stipend uh, for the uh, vice president, treasurer, DOC, and uh, what was neglected to be stated at the time was scheduler. So we'd like to include that on there. So if somebody would like to make a motion for that so that we can go ahead and repropose that. I'll make a motion to accept the, uh, the increase for the DOC, the vice president, president, and scheduler for the increase in fees. And treasurer. And treasurer. I second that motion. Uh, any opposed? Already, uh, the the motion for the increase in the stipends for the four positions uh, will be approved, accepted, and approved. Um, other than that, does anybody have anything regarding the previous month's meeting minutes that they would like to have adjusted? Alrighty, uh, treasurer's report. Do Oh, yes, yes, I apologize. I make a motion to accept the meeting min minutes for October's, so October 2022's meeting. I'll second that. Uh, all, any opposed? So October 2022's modified uh, minutes uh, will be accepted and approved. And let's go to the treasurer's report. Amy, if you would be so kind. So do I, I need to go through all the months, right? Correct. Okay, so starting with October, <clears throat> rec checking started with 62,999.28, ended 24,911.59, moving to November, ending November was $20,933.68, ending December was 30,721.45, Ending January, 62,332.25. And going into February, ending, did I just say the wrong months? <laughs> I did. I read for the bank statements. <laughs> and I circle it, too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let me try one more time. All over. I mean, there's a little bit of difference. <laughs> wow. So sorry, scratch that last bit. Okay, so October, try again, QuickBook balances. Uh, October, 20,529.68 was the ending balance. November ending balance, 20,689.34. December ending balance, 15,517.11. January ending balance, 61,907.78. And February ending balance, 63,865.90. Um, for recreational savings, We've got big changes here. Started with ten thousand six seventy-three point oh eight in October, 
ended 10,673.44, ended uh, November 10,673.79, ended December 10,674.15, January ended 10,674.51, and ended February 10,674.84. <laughs> Motion first. <laughs> I'll make a motion to accept the um, recreational checking balances for the months of, month of October ending $20,529.68, November ending $20,689.34, ending December at $15,517.11, ending in January 23, $61,907.78, ending in February 2023. $63,865.90. Savings balances um, in October 22, it's 10,673.44, November 10,673.79, December $10,674.15, January 2023, $10,674.51, and February $10,674.84. Okay. Any, any opposed? <laughs> All righty. Uh, accepted and approved will be the uh, recreation um, treasures reports for the months of October 2022, November 2022, December 2022, January 2023, and February 2023. All righty, that was that was difficult. All righty, let's not do that again. All righty, um, <laughs> let's jump uh, up up to the uh, president's report. Um, spring season uh, has been underway now for for two weeks. Um, perhaps our uh, the, the, without a doubt, this has been our largest uh, season to date for one of the recreation seasons, be it spring or fall. Uh, numbers are fantastic. Um, my satisfaction with this, and I, I don't think people can appreciate when you can have your recreation program grow while at the same time having your competitive program also grow, while the recreation program is normally the feeder system for the competitive program. So the fact that both have grown um, for the 2022-2023 seasons is uh, quite an accomplishment for our program. And uh, a, a big uh, round of applause up here for the folks up here uh, for everything that you guys do and to help keep this going in the right direction. That includes uh, Fernando, who also works very hard. Um, uh, two weeks in, I believe all of us told Fernando no more. <laughs> accepting people for the spring season it needs to get shut down if fernando happens to call any of you at any <laughs> point in time asking to open it up tell him absolutely not we'll change passwords we'll do whatever it has to it's as long as got soccer doesn't go down <laughs> yeah. no, uh, nobody else and again the, the reason that it is difficult not just the size of the teams but then amanda's got to scurry around trying to come up with uniforms and it, it's just a whole chain of events that happens and and you know that goes back to why we increased our late fee to, to the point that we we had to do just to try to uh, give people an incentive to try and register on time so that we can order things you know accordingly um anybody else want to add anything to the spring season thus far that we're seeing um good 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 um registry referee re registrar referee report again we, we we're not going to have that today open comments from membership regarding the recreation program it doesn't seem like anybody out there has anything to say which all, always means we're doing a good job <laughs> So thank you for your support. And <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, what was it? Okay, I didn't think so. All right. Um, <laughs> unfinished business. Um, 
Amanda, if you can give us a quick status update on the uniforms and the trophies for the recreation program. Uniforms are all in, and everybody has a uniform, so we are good with uniforms. There are some extras in the concession stand, so if anybody needs to switch out sizes, we can do that. Um, and trophies, I have already put um, Payne on that. He knows that we're ex to expect our order, and I just have to get him final numbers for all the groups and teams. Awesome, awesome. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Amanda. And again, I don't think you guys understand or can appreciate as many people as we have in the program and as many people that we keep registering into the program and the fact that you have been able to make sure that everybody has had a uniform is awesome. And Sean would be proud of you. <laughs> um, all right, field coordinators, Scott, we, we addressed that already with the modification. Um, Sean's Shack, the grand opener of our concession stand which we had uh, agreed upon previously, um, honoring one of our former uh, board members who um, is still living. Um, and by the sound of everything, you would have thought he passed away. Uh, um, um, and, and that was held this past weekend. And, and boy, was he surprised. And boy, was he thankful and appreciative. And uh, just, yeah, just told totally shocked and it, w it was great having him back out there um, uh, his wife Colleen and his daughter Megan were also out there so it was great seeing everybody and there will also be there will always be a concert reminder to everybody uh, for the work that Sean had put in uh, for this program and uh, just a little something to say thank you for all of his years of service and to show that not only the people up here on the board but the people in the community appreciate everything he's done over the years so, Sean, if you're watching, not from up there, but from the television screen. <laughs> yeah, just to clarify, Sean is alive and kicking and doing very well. Uh, Sean, thank you from every one of us up here. We miss you, buddy. Um, um, Brandon, um, I had asked Brandon and uh, the other village folks if, at all if we were able to obtain the Royal Palm Beach High School as a backup for those, well, I think it's three or four weeks' time, mm -hmm. you know, two nights a week over there. Uh, I know you and, and, and the others in the village were very kind to, to reach out to the school as well as myself reaching out to the school, and they were able to provide the high school uh, for pretty much the month of March is what it gets out. Although we requested it, we never stepped foot on it. We found a way to make things work. Um, but it's nice to know that everybody was kind of working together on that in, in, in case that there is a need in the future, whether it's because of the growth of the program or because of some type of a, a, a situation with the fields or the weather conditions or something like that for a, a long period of time. It's nice to know that everybody's kind of helping each other out with the recipient. Reciprocity? How do you say it? Reciprocity. Reciprocity? Right. What, whatever it is. Everybody working back and forth. I was going to mess it up too. Where it goes back and forth. Great job. All right. So, all right. So, um, social media presence. Um, we had decided to um, uh, um, bring somebody in uh, to do uh, our social media and take care of all of that. So we have a, a, a larger presence and we're able to increase our audience, and we brought Anna Casal in uh, to be that such person. Uh, me speaking personally, and I know that everybody agrees with me on this, she has been ridiculously good. And the work that she's doing on all the social media platforms, um, it, it's great. And, you know, I... I you know, who, who can say yes or no, but it, it may coincide, you know, it's it, hard to say it's just coincidental, but the increase in the numbers in our program at the same time as our social media presence getting as big as it has, I think that has a lot to do with it also. So I, I just want to say special thanks to, to Anna on that. 
thank you and please keep it up. We are all very appreciative of it. Please keep on sharing those posts. <laughs> <laughs> um, new business. Uh, field conditions. <laughs> and this is where Brandon cringes. Um, not sure if you you've seen a little rough. A little rough. Like some something didn't something didn't work. Um, I know field two. One of the two big ones, yeah, the two the two big ones. They're they're like little minefields, is what it, you know, little divots. Sorry, like, divot again. It's not like divots, it's whatever. And then, and then, and this on a fortunate for us situation during practice, one of our goalkeepers in the goal area, dove for a ball, landed his elbow, hit a stone, and and the stone is actually like was used instead of soil it's a pretty large one and like it's gonna take like some kind of equipment to dig that out of the goal area on field number one there. field one field one on the um east side i feel big saying that it's probably wrong i just the side closer side. to crestwood what is that close to the middle school okay so um, no east it did. is that <laughs> No, how can that be? <laughs> if it's this one here, yeah. and that's the crest one yeah. is going east. Be, so we, we have this a oh, lot with... Royal Palm, no, Okeechobee is north. It's, no, that's where it is. That's Okeechobee. How is it north? No, it's, I'm, I'm like you, it's, it's, it's north. north. Yeah. North would be... So we... We have the same thing that we end up doing a lot with, um, like with our parks and how we reference point it. You, you got to find like it's just I'm a reference having, point I'm there. Having, I'm having, <laughs> he's in deep thought. I'm having, yeah. Like right now, um, you remember Charlie Brown when the, the teacher would talk? Wah, 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 wah. That's all I'm hearing right now because I'm trying to figure this out. Um, park Road goes north and south, correct? Or no, that would defeat, that would, <laughs> <laughs> never mind, <laughs> I'm wrong, I admit it, Park Road, Park Road goes north and south, yeah, and it's, a, it's, a, it's so weird, Cypress, uh, Cypress Trails is the south side, yeah, that's that way, cause, yeah. The north yeah, 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 it's the north side, all right, just fix the damn field, <laughs> <laughs> no, but what is in that goal area on field one, the there's one. like a, a a really large stone okay. that's like in there pretty deep. Mm -hmm. I said the kid dove and I mean he, he hit his elbow on it. You know, no, it wasn't like medical, but it was it hurt him for a while. Yeah, we tried to dig it out, just you couldn't. I mean, it's like it's that big. big yeah. Okay. <laughs> Steve tried with his elbow. Yeah, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Steve. <laughs> Steve gave it a good go. Um, gate access. Uh, there's is there still in it, the gates. Um, the village opens them at nine o'clock on Saturdays. Yeah, by well, by they should open them by eight. Yeah, like eight on Saturdays yeah. and on Sundays. What time? Um, same thing. So eight o'clock. Well, oh, yeah. okay. I thought because Sunday was so late that with the rec center opening up, I thought no, it'll be the so eight o'clock. Oh, yeah. okay, perfect. It should perfect. be the same both days. All right, uh, rec adjournment at uh, six fifty p.m. And uh, hold on. I wanted to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, regarding the field conditions, everybody has my little map I painted for you. Brandon, I gave you one. <laughs> okay, so since our program is growing on both sides, the highlighted areas, I wanted to see who owns the, that property, if it's part of Cat's Field, and if can we move to expand. Oh, sorry, you're in the tree trees. <laughs> The trees. Dave, yeah, the trees, <laughs> the, trees. the tree area. The, um, I see what you mean, the, the preserve areas right there. Yeah. Um, I'll find out. Preserve. Yeah. Well, it's Preservation Park, but I yeah. don't believe that that's the preserve area. The, um, yeah, I'll figure out what, um, because I, it's one of the things that I, I kind of bring up and talk about a lot too, just with, um, with field space in general. Yeah, and just so that, home. you know, we can grow. New bathrooms. Yeah. Um, New bathroom. hey, I got a list. Well, <laughs> so 
a lot of the things that, like you said, the the spacing of it, um, that's a, a a big scale thing. But like one of my goals, like you just said, um, was the bathroom. Um, so we're actually talking about that um, as far as getting what we need to do to, to kind of freshen them up and revamp them. Um, the thing, and I might have mentioned it before, they're going to be putting the new roof on the yes. building. And so when they do that new roof, um, a lot of those things like bathrooms um, are going to be refreshed, um, redone. So I don't have an exact date on when that's going to be done. Um, they did say in the upcoming year. Um, so once I get a, an official date on when they'll be doing that, I'll let you all know. Is that a whole new plumbing system that they're going to be doing? Because that's um, what they said. That was the only way that was going to fix that. No, I'm not sure if it's a, a whole new plumbing system that I could look into. Um, but I think as far as it was more just the cosmetic things in the bathroom. Was my paint palette approved? Uh, paint palette has not been approved yet, no. No. That won't... Um, Neutrals? No, that, that won't... Um, he won't know, actually won't do it until, until the it roof. gets yeah, closer to that time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, we, could, we could knock two birds off with one stone if we were able to get that wooded area cleared out enough, we could double up it with the bathrooms in there, too, but without actually having to put a structure in there. Just give them more space to go to the bathroom. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's... Killing two birds with one stone, man. <laughs> I mean, it's... Like I said, I got um, I to talk with Lou and see what is his thoughts are on there, even if it's, um, if it's possible, because um, it's, it's one of the things... Like I said, I was looking at before. Um, I, I looked at even in we're the Crestwood and all that space over there. Like, you know, we're is out there the any seams. way that we can expand <laughs> this around here? Um, so I, I'll talk with them some more and, and see if those are any possibilities. Thank you for the map so I can and, and you know show me. it. I like visual. Yeah. <laughs> um, Thank you for teaching me directions. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have one more thing. Since our um, sandbags keep getting stolen constantly, um, yeah, I wanted to see, is there a way that we can put either a small shed on the northeast side of the, <laughs> of the concession stand behind the gated um, area that they have all that stuff? With all that um, electric. Back, back by where the sand. Yeah, by the sand the pile. is like a, in, the, in that little corner in there. Okay. Just so that we can lock it up and have the sandbags in there. So I don't know what the point is doing. Every time. Yeah, her husband actually like filled up sandbags. All gone. Also, would the would the village consider instead of the the standard sandbags? We were at a place this past weekend they had these large yellow like plastic containers with a handle on them mm -hmm. and i guess you could fill them up with water sand or you put whatever you want in them and they had like a handle on them yeah and you just go and you, you put them on the the, the, the metal oh. bases of either the back of the goal or on the two sides okay and because the material of it of the plastic and it's not the handle on it, it it's just something that would be more durable and I we don't, would lock you that know up. I mean, and that would, and it'd be <laughs> easier to walk back and forth where we can lock it up, whether it's a shed or in the storage room somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Not, 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 not. It almost the, looks like a, um, a pool chlorine it case. Like a, Have you ever seen one of those? The pool I know, chlorine, yeah, I know what you're talking about. If you could, like, find one or example of one. I do, I have it, don't you worry. He, he took pictures <laughs> okay. that day. Uh, I've already found where to buy them from, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I would have brought a picture of that if I were if I knew. <laughs> We're gonna bring it up. Yeah, if you can send it to me, um, and then I'll look into that. Um, I'll check into, like I said, as far as even about putting the extra shed back there, um, if that'll be permitted. Um, it doesn't have to be big, just something we can put, you know, stack it up. up in there. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, it's just strange they, they steal the sand back, especially <laughs> crazy with the, the whole pile of sand there. Yeah, um, no, they don't want to have to do it themselves. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I'll look into that. Thank you, Brandon. Anybody else for the recreation portion? Oh, man, I'm sorry. For rec, I don't know when the um, Payne was telling me that he could either do it on the first, April first, or the ninth. Is that what I was? Or sixteenth. I'm sorry. Yeah, the next, the two Sundays after. So it, 
he was skipping the ninth because it was Easter, so obviously we're not going to do pictures on Easter, but the following weekend. So I'm out of town on the first, so I will not be able to be there. First is Saturday, but if you want to do it Sunday. Oh, no, he said he could do Saturday or Sunday that weekend. So, yeah, we won't, Mal and I won't be there, obviously. Why is it? Because that's the commissioner's. Oh, yeah. That's my thing. I don't even know the dates anymore. Um. I'm out of town that weekend too. Which one? The fifteenth. Fifteenth. So, I mean, yeah, he runs pretty much all on his own. You know, I mean, he does everything for the most part all by himself. I think it's still nice to have a presence of one of us there, but um, if it has to be the first, if that's the only day, I'll I'll make sure that I can be there. I mean, unless you don't think that we need a board member. I mean, he d like I said, he does everything. He sets it all up. As long as the gate's open, we just need to let the village know that when they open the park gates up, they have to open that back gate. That back gate. Yeah. Um, so that we're on the same page. And other than that, I mean, it's not a big deal. So do we just have to date them for April 1st? That way they think that their tree is not there and we're done with it. And the village has their notification now and we're able to smile. So April Saturday, April 1st, April 1st, if we can have that gate unlocked that goes back to Presswood. By like 745. 7:30. Yeah, he gets he gets, he gets started he gets started like at eight, but he gets set up a little before. A little early, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the we got the right key now, so we'll make sure we get it. Thank you. All right, so we're good. So um, that's a recreation adjournment at um, 6:56 p.m. Uh, call to order the competitive portion of the board meeting at 6:56 p.m. Uh, President's report, DOC report, a um, couple of things here. Um, we had registered 10 teams into the Palm Beach Gardens tournament uh, that was held last month. And out of the 10 teams, uh, seven of our teams made it to the finals, which is, boy, 70%. Uh, that's, a, that's a good day at the office. I mean, that's, that's a great, great job by all the teams and all the, the coaches uh, could have also had an eighth team out of the 10. Um, they had to come back the following day to do penalty kicks to see who advances. And unfortunately, they, they weren't successful with the penalty kicks, but they were close enough where, you know, I, I thought I should mention them. So, so good job by all the competitive teams over there. Out of the seven, unfortunately, however, only two of them won in the finals. Um, that would have been our U13 boys team and our U11 boys team. Uh, so Coach Carmine and Coach Dave, great jobs and, and great jobs by, by your players. Um, additionally, um, in the state championship series, which is broken down into the Commissioner's Cup, the President's Cup, and the State Cup, uh, two of our teams... Uh, the U11 girls and the U16 boys um, not only played in the Region A finals, but had also qualified and advanced to the state Final Four, which is ginormous uh, for teams to be in that, regardless of the outcomes, to participate in that type of a, a venue. That's as big of a showcase event as you can attend. Um, and, and that's for all the age groups will be held on, on April 1st and April 2nd for the Commissioner's Cup. Uh, for our U19 boys black team, uh, they have advanced to the knockout rounds of the President's Cup, which is, again, also a big feat. That means that they advance from group play and I believe the knockout would be the final 16. So they are now in the final 16 of that, so, so good job. Our U17 boys uh, will be participating in the State Cup, which begins in, in two weeks. They don't have a chance in hell, but it's going to be a good experience for them uh, because of the, the teams they're playing. Uh, the first team we play is like number one, the nation. It, it just, it just unfortunate the draw that they that they got, but it is what it is. 
Um, so really, really proud of uh, the coaches and the, the kids uh, in our competitive program. And what's refreshing is that the competitive program is not just growing in size, so it's not just quantity, it's also quality. So, it, so that's great. That, that's great to be able to get bigger and get better at the same time. It, it's, uh, we're, we're, we've become extremely relevant, and I believe that our um, teams have also been placed properly in the leagues and the tournaments and everything that we put them in. Uh, there's more of a connect um, with where each team belongs and where they can be as competitive as possible. Uh, so we're not setting teams up for failure, and we're not making it easy for teams to do things. Everybody is is where they need to be. Um, treasures report for the competitive program. Amy, All right. if don't next, take a nap, but here we go. Half an hour <laughs> to do this. I'm going to start with the right balances from QuickBook. <clears throat> so uh, the competitive checking in October started with 179,699.03, ended with 207,448.83. November ended with 145,450.12. December ended 132,603.09. January ended with 141, 147.55. February, the checking ended with $129,079.52. Savings started in October, $10,031.07, ended with $10,031.41. November ended with $10,031.74. December ended $10,032.08. January, $10,032.42. And February, Ten thousand thirty-two dollars and seventy-three cents, and then for um, the stipends, October started with seven thousand four hundred dollars, ended with six thousand dollars. In November, we did a transfer, so that went up to thirty-three thousand five hundred sixty dollars and sixty-two cents. Ending December, eleven thousand three hundred and ten point sixty-two. And there has not been a change. So ending February same, eleven thousand three hundred and ten dollars and sixty two cents. Add done. Make a motion to accept the competitive checking saving checking balances for October ending. October 2022, ending $207,448.83, ending November 2022, $145,450.12, ending December 2022, $132,603.09, ending January 2023, $141,147.55, Ending February 2023, $129,079.52. Savings balances ending in October 2022, $10,031.41. Ending November 2022, $10,031.74. Ending December 2022, $10,032.08. Ending January 2023, $10,032.42. And ending February 2023, $10,032.73. The stipend account ending October 2022, $6,000. Ending November 2022, $33,560.62. Ending December 2022, $11,310.62. And that balance carries forward for, Feb for January 2023 and February 2023 at $11,310.62. I'll second that. All right. The treasurer's report for the competitive portion of the program for the months of October 2022, November 2022, December 2022, January 2023, and February 2023 will be accepted and 
approved. Thank you, Amy and Corinne and Dave for getting that through. Um, league reports. Um, Palm Beach League, which is called something else now, Florida League Florida or something League. like Florida, Florida League. Um, a, a bunch of our teams on the league know how many are participating in the, the late season, which is the spring season. Do you have a number? So 13 teams that are participating in the spring season, which is awesome, and it's great to see that we continue to support support our local league. Um, we also uh, previously uh, have had teams in the South Florida League, uh, in the EDP League, in the Florida State Premier League, um, and it's a little of everything. And what I like, by doing it the way that we're doing it is we have a little of everything for everybody. And uh, depending on what you're looking for, we have a lot of options and avenues that we can take uh, so that the kids get exposure to different levels. Uh, and we will continue to match the teams accordingly uh, so that they find the greatest possible success. Uh, open comments from membership regarding our competitive program. I know everybody's been very patient out there, and we appreciate you guys, uh, again, supporting the program. Um, nobody? Okay. Um, unfinished business. Referees are horrible. Um, we'll talk to Shanoi about that. That's just a, a monthly thing we get on there. Uh, you know what? Let, let, let's go sideways on this one a little bit. And I sit here, and I say the referees are horrible. That's just such a horrible thing to say. No, no, no. It's, a, it's a horrible thing to say that. And boy, as bad as they are up here, you have no, you have, uh, you have no idea what's down south. And um, it, it's bad. And it, just, a, just a, 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 quick, a quick story, because I'd like for people hear this and, and, and know what to expect when you go down south. So we're on the biggest stage that you can possibly be on, on the, the region finals. Like you can't get any bigger than this well, the state is bigger than but the region finals. We're down there and you know two weeks prior we had like some incidents down there with just just very, very poor officiating and just so biased and it it it's it, it's it's embarrassing even to see this. And it's frustrating when you know how hard the kids work and for just outside factors to, 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 to play a, a, such a large role in, in the outcome of games. The refereeing at this regional final was absolutely horrible. Uh, the team that I coach, which is the U16 boys team, um, Playing a team from Lauderhill, good team, and uh, they jump out on us two to nothing. And um, not to make excuses, uh, we had like two subs, and or one sub. We had injuries, bunch of players in play. Uh, we knew we were advancing to the state final four, regardless of the outcome of this game. So we're down to two nothing. I reminded the guys, no, you know, don't worry about this. This is going to be the state finals, regardless. You're going to see them again. Go out and play. Down two nothing. We go out after the water break. We score a goal, two to one. Momentum changes everything. Then some phantom penalty kick called against us, just to ensure that there's a two get a two goal gap again, to just ensure that the team from the north doesn't walk away with the region finals. Three to one. By this time, I'm just so disgusted at how poor the officiating is. Referee tells the kids after the break, no more yellow cards. We're going to go straight red cards from here on out. Well, you can't do that because you can't predict what a foul is. They're, they carry different weights. So not even two minutes after he says that, guy from our team, guy from the other team, going for the ball, challenge each other. My guy, red card, comes out immediately. Their guy, yellow card, comes out immediately. Well, you just said you're going to give out. So whatever. So I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking to myself, I just lost one guy possibly now for the state final four. And I will not 
allow this referee to take more players of mine where they can't participate in the state finals. When we get the kickoff, I tell the linesman, other team will never touch the ball for the rest of the game. He's looking at me crazy. He said, I will not give you guys an opportunity to do anything to our kids anymore. Yell at them, one of my guys kick it in our own goal. Turns around from the kickoff, kicks it to our goalkeeper. Goalkeeper stops the ball, turns around, kicks it in our goal. Okay, we get scored again, which means we get the ball again. Tell the ref, I've got four more of these coming. You may as well just end it now because the other team will never touch the ball and I will not give you an opportunity to throw our kids out. They called the game, this, this, that. But for me to have to do that, and what was great is that Lou was at that game. He was. And he saw how absolutely horrible this officiating was. And I'm not going to let somebody do that to those guys. So. It's it's bad when when you, you ye- yeah. well when you know. yell out sub or yeah. substitute yeah. and they're looking at you yeah. like you're speaking another language. Mm-hmm. It's because you are. It's like <laughs> because they don't understand you. It's like that, that's like a basic word in the game. Like and if you can't like do that, if you can't get that, then you shouldn't be out on the field, man. You know, and it's uh, but boy, just how you know. Mm, 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 mm. And it's uh, and, and and again, that's great. I respect all languages, all nationalities, and all that stuff. But you know, the the favoritism that is handed down to the folks down south. Um, that's uh, you know, so fortunately, the state final four will be up in Central Florida, where it'll be neutral, and and it'll be a much. Uh, yeah, but I kind of was telling you, didn't they have like different? Referees from up north having to go down to ref the for games high down school. south. Oh, that's high school. For, for high school, once you get into the regionals, okay. they allow, you have to be from a different region refereeing so that you're not getting any favoritism. Yeah. 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 And I'll give you two minutes to think on a good subject for week and a half. Minute and a half goes by, we were tracking, and you blow the whistle, and I'm stuck. Right, so the, so so a, a PK for the goalkeeper? No, it was, the there was another play right after that. Oh, right ball. after that, okay. Handball in the box. All right, all right. It's, uh, where was that? Uh, Hollywood. Yeah, that's I think you had, you had some yeah. conversations yeah. in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. You may have had yeah. my same squad. This yeah. is no long. This is no longer fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, it's weird because this stuff up here is now the easy stuff. Like that stuff out there, it, it's it's horrible, and you're letting, you know, and you can't even say you're letting adults like like do this because you know what is it? Thirteen year old can you know thirteen year olds can do this too and. You know, and I'm fa- all for it. You know, I'm all for, like, having kids. You've got to learn somewhere. You know, but put them with people that can mentor them so that they learn so they're not put in a situation like that. Or if they are put in a situation like that, to have somebody experienced enough, they'll go and have a conversation with them, a discussion about what happened, let them talk about it, then make a call. Yeah. And and it's just, it's just not like that. It's a... Uh, Yeah, so whatever, it, it is what it is. All righty, so um, on, on the getting back to a more positive note here, our goalkeeping training schedule, it, we've been out, off of goalkeeping training for the last week, uh, including this week, and then we'll resume after spring break. Uh, we've already discussed the social media presence and what a great job Ann is doing. Um, and he, here's the big thing now, uh, tryout day. And this next section, just so you know, I told you guys this for for whatever reason, one night laying in bed, <laughs> and I became like the idea man. Like the thoughts that I had this night, I, I woke up and I just like I looked in the mirror. Yeah. I'm like, you are so good. <laughs> like, like how no did you? No, no, <laughs> Dave. No, Dave. Like you, there was nothing that I couldn't solve this night. 
Like, like everything that came in my head, hey, done. I can't believe we're even, like, talking about this. Like, I was... <laughs> I went, no, here, tryout dates. I'm looking at May 15th to May 20th because of that night. All righty. Um, the reason we're doing that and the reason that that's going to be our tentative date is because our rec season ends May 13th. So it'll be a good tie-in when we give the trophies out. Everybody will still be in soccer mode. Come on out to our tryouts. Uh, the fields will still be, you know, here. It's not like we're taking a break, and then we got to come back out, reline, and redo it. We'll be done with them, and then the village can do what they need to do with them. So tentatively, they're going to be May 15th and May 20th. That will be Monday through Saturday. Uh, obviously, Sunday would be a, you know, a rain date. And uh, if need be, if uh, uh, kids wanted to continue trying out up until you know, Memorial Day, we can meet with them out there. You know, it doesn't have to be a big formal event, but it could be with the age of the age specific group that they're wanting to try out with, where the, the individual coach can go out and evaluate the player. Uh, try out advertising social media. We'll have to get with um, Ann on this for the social media exposure, as well as um, flyers and things like that. Uh, we can also. Um, I already have her working on Diego. that. Diego, he's been helping out with that o over the years. Um, I, Jenny has uh, helped out last year. She made a couple of things. So the more the merrier. Let's get as many things out there. I also have that, Carmine working on it too. Yeah, he, Carmine's another creative one with that stuff. So the more the merrier. Let's get all these flyers out there and let's get all this stuff on our website, 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 Dave. I mean, and... You know how screwy I made it with the <laughs> duplicate stuff. Yeah. You, you know, it's like the tab and then the drop down and then on the left and on the right side, it's all duplicate stuff. Let's make sure they're all, That's you know. Yeah, I fixed all that. All righty. So the same thing is going to apply now with the tryout dates. Um, Can we do like one of those QR codes and post it at the concession stand Absolutely. so that they can we, it'll give them right to them. the. The signs well, it'll get you right to we? registration. So. Yeah, and what that'll do is it'll take you to our, is it to our website or to our competitive page? I said I want something where they can go right to register to, for the tryouts. You can link to All right. Well, not that sport, to, to the Google Doc. Is that what it was doing it to? Yeah, I actually, um, I did do printouts, but I didn't bring it with me. But I wanted to do the Gotsport registration. Right. So instead of the Google Docs, have a link in there. And I've made um, a packet for us, well, us three, along with Shinoi, on how to get that done to implement it onto the website. All right. And that's my next thing here registration for tryouts. Let's get the registration up and going immediately. I don't, I don't care if we put this up tomorrow. Registration for tryouts. Let, let's get a jump on this stuff. So you actually probably could make the tryout registration like you do for rec. I have the entire form that tells you how to do it step by step. That's Shinoi. Is that Shinoi? That's not Shinoi. But he said she actually wrote that one down. In the program one. Which it shouldn't be any different. And, and I'm telling you, like, like, all along, I think I've known how to do this, but I didn't know if it was the right way. Because in the old way, if you remember when we had, like, yeah, the summer camp, do, yeah. I would just create a yeah. summer camp event, and yeah. boom, that was it. So I don't see why this. I'll show you, because uh, I gave, I got, like I said, I have a packet for the three of us in case so we don't have to wait on Chinoy. Right. And it actually has step-by-step -step on how to do the registration for Well, we, 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 we need to get this done. We need to set it up. We need to. To, to make it where you know everything is organized and professional looking, you know whether you know waivers included, whatever it is, everything. And, and then once and, accepted, and again, we start it. blasting that on our website and all the social media. Um, yeah, pound away, pound away on this. And I have other um, in the packet that I made also ideas on how to do the website and how to get it out there with the different stuff and what to include with. Right. The rules and everything that you All get right. with it. All right, good, good, good. Hey, quick yeah. question: Can we also take off spring twenty twenty recreation season canceled off the website? Way at the bottom. 
before like the logos those and were stuff. Just and all that COVID yeah, stuff. That, yeah, that, that was, yeah, those were just fillers at the time. We left them on there just so our suck. But now we've got so much I mean, stuff on. Three years and ago. Justin, what do you want to do? You want to just read it out, like how we read it out, hide it, as opposed to deleting it, or is that getting too messy? No, I think. Well, we can leave it down there in case we want to start putting articles in. What we might want to do is see if we can post something. On no, Facebook no, no, or... not not mess, not remove the the template portion of it. But like you know how we hide. We want things. to see what happens when you hide it. If it gets like super ugly down there, or, yeah. But we can because when when we hide it, it won't show up to the public. But we can see but it. We can see it. But it gets so boggled with when we're trying to do something on there. It's but I I, I say let's just do it until all this COVID nonsense goes away if it ever does yeah and then once the registration and everything is done and all of the tryouts are done the next thing would be the acceptance through team snap so it's not the double duty like it was this past season so they, so they do the tryout registration on that sport yes which we will make sure that and they have their they picture accept on team snap. Ah, so that and way then they we can turn around correct. and pop them on that's the way to do and then you can put them in your teams. So the God Sport will already have their birth certificates will have to be mandated in there, their pictures and everything. So already do the whole safe sport, whatever, for the older ones too, so we don't have to go through this the whole three months of the beginning of the All season. Right. It's already done. They already can get verified. Once they're accepted, he can do his thing, and then they send Team Snap just the one shot. They have to do safe sport prior to trying out, though. I, I don't think I, I don't think pride only yeah, that would be a mess. Yeah, I, I, I'd yeah. say only, only upon acceptance. When acceptance, then we know, okay, you're accepted, then, because I think we have to pay for it, don't we? Yeah, we have to pay yeah. for everybody's background and all that. But so we'll know way ahead of time if that needs to be done. I can run that report and everything. All right, yeah, that's great. That's great. All right, good, good. Are we doing a camp this summer, or with Dexter uh, gone? That I, I, I'm kind of bouncing around a couple ideas in my head. A, a, a couple of coaches have reached out to me, um, trying to figure something out. I've been trying to think a little outside the box too. Um, we can talk about when we're when we're finished down up here in Montana. Just all the, just the different teams I can do that kind of thing. Um, one one of the other fabulous ideas that came to my head this night. Uh, this hosting the tournament that we keep saying we're going to host a tournament, host a tournament, host. Oh, but we have to do this, we have to do this. Screw it, we have a tournament, and it's going to be my dream was a week before Thanksgiving. It's early, it's basically letting the high school season start, and regardless, anyways, up to U15 would be solid without high school being a concern, and referees being a concern, or whatever. Um, then I got to thinking. If we do it a week before Thanksgiving, which means it would be the 18th and the 19th, mm -hmm. that's the Saturday and Sunday that is the beginning of Thanksgiving break. People may be already leaving and wouldn't be available for the team. So I'm thinking if we do it a week prior, which would be 11 11. Saturday and Sunday. That's it. You know, then we'll just have it a week before Thanksgiving. And the reason I said a week before Thanksgiving, because I figured our yeah. rec season. If that was in your dream, then that's when it's going to be, the week. And then, yeah. They, they want to play, they, they, play. they want to play, they play. If you're going to be around before spring break, you know, we'll see. Well, let's just go forward with that. And because of that date, that there's a good possibility because that might be a weekend people don't want to mess with because of Thanksgiving. That might be a way for us to kind of start. This is our weekend, and like this just becomes our weekend. Like here, like you know, two three weeks we have President's Day and, and all of that stuff. This can be like our thing. Yeah, that, that would probably be something that just sounds like it would be good. I know, Ju I know Wellington is the beginning of January. Wellington's the end of January. Darden's late January. I think there's something in Darden. It's October. And spring. Yeah. yeah. But 
since October, generally. Yeah. So that's the weekend after everybody comes back from. That's a nice follow-up because everybody's got a couple of time on Sunday to follow through. Right. So and the holidays have just finished, and then you got Sunday Christmas coming. Yeah, but that's that's like. So you're not, up, you'd be doing small cider anyways. And well, that was the thing. Would you be doing small cider or would you, I woke up before I was able to determine. <laughs> well, if you, <laughs> if well, you could do sided, both. Small cider is the low hanging fruit. Mm-hmm. It's easier for us to use, especially when we're doing traditional ones. I'm saying, yeah, that's the end of the season. Our fields aren't going to be too crazy. It's going to be something. Well, well, same thing well in why, don't, why don't we dabble a little bit? Well, why don't we just split it up and do one weekend small side and the next weekend full side? Well, yeah, I think we ought to. And dabble a couple times. I think, uh, yeah. Do both days. Well, we have so many things going on. Do they have the three, older four four side. Four side. Yeah, we'll get that to you. Realistically, is is uh, is Sunil available on a Saturday and Sunday in mid November to mid December? Um, it would. I'd have to see it. It depend on the um football schedule um if there's any games those weekends typically they kind of wrap up um home games some point in october um so potentially it could be open what about the the adult league yeah sun that's the that's on sunday right? sundays yeah but we don't use our field anyways so. for concessions yeah you don't want to send them over there because uh, that's true that's true mm-hmm. Brandon. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Once Brandon cuts all those yeah. trees now. <laughs> Add new fields and, 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 and turf. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I know. Start with the rock. Right. <laughs> she does have tree guy. Well, uh, tree guy. You know, Brandon will put a sign up by the trees for you if you need <laughs> <laughs> Dedication to Brandon. <laughs> Brandon's birch. <laughs> Can we though agree with that weekend eleven eighteen? We can go go ahead and let, at least start planning for that. So then, when we make the schedule for the fall season for rec, we know that everything has to be finished by eleven eleven. Well, I'm gonna just throw a whole curveball. <laughs> you know where I'm gonna go with this. Right. That's a great opportunity for an all star slash. start with a heavy hitters. Don loved it. Well, it was great, <laughs> except what we were doing is we were providing competitive teams for other clubs. Because yeah. they would come in, they'd swoop in, they would, <laughs> they would <laughs> offer our rec coach, hey, bring the team over, the team's here, the rec coach. Well, you yeah. could just do it like he said, just for, for that one tournament. Take it out. Whoever you think are the best of the best in since it's the end of the season of rec and make a all star team to one team participate in the lowest division. If they get pounded, they get pounded. At least they get a taste experience. Of it. That might be good. Look at Dave. <laughs> all right, so um, yeah. 
Well, and, and and I'm not really concerned with you know, especially for the younger team. And again, we have been super super supportive of everybody's jerseys, and I have made it a point. Hey, remember, remember, remember. You know, so you know, the Dupin Gardens and Wellington, and, and we do, you know, and Jupiter, Jupiter, and, and, and yeah, Martin County. Yeah, I mean, Martins, go down to Boca United, Coral Springs, 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 Springs with Roger. Springs, you know, all these guys. Hollywood. You know, yeah, and so it's like we should be, yeah. I know, uh, <laughs> we have these tournaments, but parking can, seems to be an issue yeah, when we, we have are, like, tournaments. Too, busting so out the seeds with the parking lot. Yeah. Parking lot. So, well, even though it's yeah. smart, though. But, but, but now keep in mind. Say oh. overflow parking at the rec center. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. just provide well, shuttle? signage. Oh, no. We can signage. walk through the basketball court. Yeah, yeah. If we need a shuttle. We'll yeah, that's cool. That's fine. Hey, speaking of, are we so overnight, sorry. overnight, <laughs> <laughs> safe from heart as well? Was there anything um, done for the playoffs that we hosted? Like, were we, is there any kind of a VMA? Never got um, no, nothing, no. Wow, that's something we'll have to look into. Yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it, do we do it for the playoffs. Typically, yeah. they yeah. give us something, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Brandon, I have a now question. Now, we haven't billed them for what they took. Are we allowed to um, mark reserved on a few parking spots for the board members? I have the stencil, and I could paint it myself. Santa, you could just put the cones <laughs> Spray in paint. No, I'm, I'm marking reserved. Um, Is that allowed? I will find out. Please, yes. The sooner the better. Six, yes. It would be two, two, and two. So, like, six spots for the board members. Yeah, like along the cash line? Yeah. Like two where he, like, where he normally parks. Well, that's not even a, it's not no, a not, parking that's spot. That's traditional. Oh, oh. <laughs> but, you know, oh, where you first, park the, the first, first two, spot, yeah. the two behind it, and then two at the, uh, by the dumpster. It would be. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Two, 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 two. Yeah. Two, two. two, two. Yeah. two, two. Yep, yep. <laughs> So the fir the first two that are on the field, on the field, then all the ones across from it, mm -hmm. and the ones no. in the back. No, the not ones, on the field. No. The ones, the two on the back, like in two the middle. The side, two yeah. on the middles. There's yeah, the two, two in the middle. Two. two. Yes. Okay. And the two in the very back fence. Not the one. I got you. We won't take the first ones. Oh, it might be hard to maintain, only because, like I said, I know I've tried to keep an eye on if people just pull up into the circle. And I have no problem telling them move. I know, but they're not in their car. Their car is just. Oh, I there. monitor it. Baseball. I monitor it. <laughs> I mean, I, I do try, but there are times when, like, it happens and there's nobody sitting in the car. And, like, here they're blocked. They blocked us in because they pulled up too close and, like, you can't do anything. So, I don't know. Yeah, but that's why I wanted, like, spaces. Well, the way, just so spaces. you guys know, the way that I handle it is I just park right across the car. <laughs> I'm here all day. I'm, I'm glad you're here with us. You know, you want to be in the area. And I. Whatever, I, I do it. Knows I've, been, do I've it. been trying to pull all the way behind the building because yeah. I know I'm going to be there all day, and it doesn't matter who blocks me in. It saves me space. My truck's just a beast. Yeah. It's just, it's just <laughs> I had a fight with a guy at one of our tournaments because I was pulled up on the grass, and they pulled in between the wood um, separators that we had put mm -hmm. up so people don't park on that yeah, grass. And he's like, well, you parked on the grass, so why can't I park on the grass? Because you're the board member. Like, yeah, I'm like, because I'm a volunteer here. <laughs> All right, so we are one step closer to a tournament. One, one more thing. Closer. Sorry, Brandon. Do you have the key for the board, the new board that you guys gave us? Yeah. Um. We don't have a key. Oh, I got yelled at for that. <laughs> I just. For not having a key? No, no. Not because I threatened a child <laughs> or something. <laughs> They were, they were taping stuff on the board. They taped it on the glass. <laughs> oh. Like, it's a brand new thing. Like, you're damaging the thing by putting the tape on. By damage, I mean, and you know, the tape residue, yeah. and you can't, you know, blah, blah, blah. He doesn't and like that. They're trying to throw us under the bus saying that we agreed with that. Yeah, so the mom calls me. And the mom, <laughs> like, see, I ended up knowing the mom more. from somewhere else. But the she mom calls me. Providing, and like, for my job. Some and you're on speed. I'm she like, to yeah. And I knew I was, and thing. that's why I was talking freely like that. And I even said, if you tell us in advance, we could even help promote your daughter, you know, but you can't just be coming up here posting stuff and, you know, on, on 
property that he owned. And she said, well, I couldn't put it in there because it was locked. Yeah, for a reason. Like, because some people don't dispose things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? So she would try and say, well, if there was a sign that said you can't dispose of it, I wouldn't have done it. And she wouldn't have put the sign in there. That was my fight of that week, I guess. Yeah, I we mean. had to put the um, field layout in there. Yes. Yes. That's, that's my fault. And you know what? And we have to, we have to, uh, the flags. I keep forgetting to bring the flags. And I should have put the flags out for Sean. And I forgot oh, to do this. Are these mine? Yeah. Hey. Where is it? 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 Yeah, no, this all I stop for money every time. <laughs> uh, I don't even I'll have to check with the my bookkeeper to see. <laughs> Does anybody else have anything for uh, competitive profile? Nothing? All right. So, good. Good. A lot, a lot of conflict today. Uh, but let's really, really be proactive with all the competitive stuff, guys. I don't want to be scrambling around late. Um, and, uh, y- you know, and I, I could care less, really, what other people are having their competitive trials. If we do it the right way, what do they say? Build it, they'll come. This is. All right, so um, we are adjourning at 7.37 p.m. I'll make a motion to adjourn the competitive portion of the Royal Palm Beach Soccer Board meeting for March at 7.37. I second. I third. I know nobody's going to (laughs) object.